In this box are over 50 PSA graded cards. And I waited over 16 months to get these cards back from PSA. In today's video, we find out what they graded. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, but before we hop into the PSA return, we are gonna have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a PSA graded Guy the Dragon Champion. This is a mint nine, so all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know, have you submitted a PSA? Has it taken forever? Like, have you submitted recently anything like that? Or your favorite card from the return, because we got 50 options here. But before we hop into the opening, we have a word from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Are you tired of spending more money at the grocery store than having to spend even more time cooking them? Then you should try HelloFresh. According to the Zagat Dining Survey, HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than going to a restaurant or going to the grocery store. HelloFresh cuts back on time in the kitchen with under 30 minute recipes. Plus, the step-by-step -step recipes make for a joyful cooking experience. You can have a meal cooked in less than your average round in your local tournament. And this is where I tell you the food tastes like plastic, right? Oh my goodness, even better than I was expecting. No, it actually tastes great and it has a ton of customizable options where you can swap the proteins or the sides for something else that you like, or you can even add more if you want more. I personally love HelloFresh because my wife and I can cook meals in such a short time and it saves a lot of stress on those really busy nights. And it makes them tasty. If HelloFresh is something that you want to try, use my link and go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGRUXANOG16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes plus 3 surprise gifts. Once you click, my description will update live to count of the purchases. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So inside we have three of these uh, mini boxes, I guess. I think you have to cut these open. So we're gonna do these one at a time. I think one of these should have less cards in it. I think they're like 20, 20, and 10. We'll see if that's how they did it. Maybe they didn't, maybe they spread them out evenly. So let's open up this first one. I don't really remember what's in here. I remember a couple of things, but I remember it being decent stuff. It was at the bulk level technically because back then, so the storyline for PSA, they had $10 bulk rates. Then they canceled bulk rates if you guys are remember that then they brought it back for like a month at $20 so this was the $20 rate because I got lazy didn't submit it at the $10 missed it on that so I had to pay double for this which still 20 isn't that bad even though we just recently had less than that in $18 but I submitted this at $20 got there in April 2021 so it's been about 16 months pretty insane how long it's been how do you open this this is a different box than it used to be wait a second what they changed their box look at this they changed their boxes that's pretty sick okay no reveals we got a way to go right there hopefully you guys didn't see that let's pull these out i actually really like these new boxes they're kind of sick and then there it is the foundation of all great collections you have to have psa graded or you don't have a good collection that's a joke all right guys these are my absolute favorite videos to do especially when it's been so long because i don't even remember the cards it's just all excitement there's no pre-grade obviously because we didn't even do that in 2021 let's just get right into it let's see what we can get uh, i did get upcharged on three cards which i know a lot of you guys hate up charges but that's just a little you know preview for at least we got three decent cards i don't remember even what the max declared value is so let's just go Oh, we got, oh, I guess we're just going to reveal them. <laughs> 50 cards. Maybe I'll uh, not reveal them so quick. Oh, this is TP7. This is actually a massive card. This card, I think, is worth like $500 raw or something now. It's insane. So a PSA 9 is probably pretty big value. I think it was a little bit OC, maybe. No, it was actually super nice, I thought. Wait, why did this get a nine? I think I had two of these. One was more off-center than the other. This one is still a little bit off-centered. It's definitely not perfect, but I remember it being pretty clean. So I don't know why I got a nine, but still a pretty solid grade because a really expensive card right now. That's a great start to this. We'll take that. Hopefully we will get some tens in this though. Um, that's what we're hoping for. We're not going to reveal it like that right away. Let's see what we got. Let's flip it over before we reveal the grade. Okay, TP7 as well, I think. Yeah, TP7 super rare warrior elimination. Centering is not perfect. Wait, maybe it was top to bottom on this card. Uh, it's not that bad, but yeah, top to bottom on this one is not really perfect either. Warrior Elimination, let's see what we got. Also a mint nine. Okay, yeah, I think that's the centering on this one. You guys can see the top right there versus the bottom is much bigger. That's what I would say. I really don't remember the condition of a lot of these cards. I do specifically remember this one being pretty clean, but Warrior Elimination, don't remember at all. I probably just threw it in because it looked pretty good. Uh, nine's pretty decent on that. We'll take that. 50 cards, by the way, so this might be a longer video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. We have five of these and five of the blue eyes in here. I remember that because people have been asking me about those blue eyes for a long time. They're like, please sell me one. I'm like, they're still at PSA, but now they're not. We finally got them back. Centering is definitely not perfect on this guy. The corners can be a little sketch on these sometimes. If you guys can see that a little bit of whitening there. So yeah, these are, this is probably not a 10. This with a little bit of whitening, a little bit off center. I mean, we might even get an eight. Hopefully not. Okay. Nine. Very nice. Sick. 
yeah, sit back, grab your popcorn, enjoy the long video, guys, because here it comes. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. We also have another, speaking of this, I know I'm talking a lot about random things. We have another PSA return video, an economy sub that I sent like two months ago. It took a while for the economy, but uh, some pretty nice stuff in that one. So keep an eye out. There's like eight cards, I think. Ooh, first edition DCR. This would be a sick PSA 10. A uh, little bit OC, maybe. Looks pretty good from what I can tell. I definitely didn't pull this because I've not, well, I don't think I had. I hadn't opened a lot of IOC at that point, so I doubt I pulled this. This card looks really good. Do we have a chance at a 10? Ooh, at nine. So, so far, we are literally four for four with nines. Literally all nines so far. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're saving it for the end. All right. We readjusted our seating position. Feels a little bit better now. I was like leaning forward before. There's a lot, way too many cards to be doing that the whole time. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe a little speck of whitening right there, but it looks maybe more like a cutting issue. Yeah. See, like this corner is much different. It's like a, this is rounded versus this is like kind of sharp on a couple points there. Let's see what this is. Why are the ultis not together? There's an ulti Dark Magician, but only one of them. That's kind of weird. These are all mixed up, I guess. Berserk Dragon, actually one of the first cards that I ever pulled out of an old school pack. I actually graded a PSA 10 back then. I ended up selling for like $60, which honestly still probably not that bad of a price for like uh, for like today's prices and stuff. I bet it's not that much more now. Uh, did we get a 10? A nine. OK, <laughs> it's nine central over here. Is it all nines? Hopefully not. Can we get any tens in this? That would be great. OK, uh, top left, a little, little, little bit of whitening. Just a little bit of that. There's just always a little bit of a cutting issue on old school Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Usually doesn't really take off that much. This one looks pretty clean. What is this? Butterfly Dagger Elma. See, like back then, you know, you just submit anything, any old school hollow. Just just throw it in there. Let's see what it got. Of course, this one gets a 10, a Butterfly Dagger Elma 10. I mean, we'll take it. This card is like banned, I think, because of Gear Freed the Iron Knight. But of all these cards, this is the one to get a 10. We'll take it, though. I'm happy with 10s. That one definitely was not an upcharge, I would say. Like, there's no way that card's worth like that much, right? Maybe, maybe 200 bucks. Oh, I, got, I see some scuffing in the back right here. This thing, you guys can see that. I already see scuffing in the back, so not a good sign. Go oh, Guardian Growl. This would be such a cool 10. Oh, my goodness. But th with that scuffing, this is when I say, man, with that scuffing, there's no way it gets a 10. Then I reveal it's a 10 anyway. OK, I got a nine. OK, that makes sense because there is scuffing. This is a really, really awesome card because it's actually pretty iconic in the anime in that uh, Raphael and Yugi duel. I mean, it's pretty sick. Not really appreciated for the most part in terms of price, but I'll take that PSA nine. Oh, Judgment of Anubis. This is first edition DCR. Did I pull this? Wait, is my Exodia Necros in here that we pulled? I think it is. Do you guys remember when we opened that 36 pack box? We pulled this, we pulled Exodia Necros. I think we pulled that Grarl as well. That must've been where the Elma came from. Yeah, all of these are from when we opened a DCR box like January, 2021, I think. Okay, Centering's not too bad there. Hopefully one of those upchargers with the Exodia Necros. I really hope it was. Let's see, we got the corner. Cause it's one of the higher end things here. Uh, Yeah, I mean, this card looks pretty nice. Centering's a little bit off. Mid nine, okay. Is the front centering off? I don't see, maybe it's back scuffing. I'm not seeing much on this one. This one looks pretty good. I mean, that's a solid nine for sure. What, 110, a bunch of nine so far. Here's the Guardian Seal. Yeah, this was definitely the box. I remember this was the first Ultra we pulled and I was like, this box is gonna suck. And then the box was amazing. We pulled the Seeker Rare, we pulled a Exodia Necross. Centering is fine. Um, back surface appears to be fine. Why was the Grarl the only one with all the, the scuffing on the back? Let's see what this got. Ooh, a 10. OK, Guardian Seal. Nice. I don't really know if this is worth anything at all. I mean, I'm sure it's an old school 10, so it's going to be worth a little bit. But I don't remember a lot of these cards like values at all because I haven't seen a Guardian Seal PSA 10 in forever. This is the kind of stuff you only grade in bulk level, but still really cool. Ultra rare. We'll take that. OK, corners look good. What is this? Oh, what? A slightly faded wavy Raigeki? <laughs> Where did this come from? I don't know. It was so long ago. What did this thing get? I mean, I'm guessing that this thing doesn't have a 10 chance, does it? Nine. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. I don't even ha have a Raigeki graded. And also, this is wavy. Dude, this thing looks incredible. I'm happy about this. This is going in the collection. Wavy Raigeki is one of the most beautiful cards. And if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know, back in the day, I had the two of these in my deck illegally. And I was like, man, I'm literally the best Yu-Gi-Oh player of all time. I just destroy all your opponent's monsters. It's so easy. That is a sick looking card. I'm happy about that. Okay, Spell Vanishing. We're still going through the DCR. Exodia Necros. Where is it? Okay. Corners look good. This is one of the, the more uh, yeah low end DCR cards. I mean, when you pull it, it's like worth like 50 cents, even in first edition. Uh, this one looks pretty clean. Is it going to get a 10? Get a nine. OK, we've got OK. So we've gotten two tens so far. And how many nines? Six, nine. All right. Two tens, nine nines. Funny how that works. OK, let's keep going. Oh, dude, what? This was this long ago that these came out. The prismatic God box. I remember these things were like insanely nice. He's got to be tens, right? 
This thing was insanely nice. Yeah, Jim meant 10. Okay. Well, look how this thing shines in the case. Ooh, that looks good, man. That is nice. I love the Japanese Starlight Rares, especially for God Guards. Those look incredible. Did we get the other two? Oh, there's another Dark Magician. What about the corners? Do we get any 10s on these ultis? These are usually not in great condition, so hopefully we did. I remember these being pretty nice, though. But ever since then, all the ones I've seen have been in garbage shape. This one looks nice. Is this a 10? We can't get it. It's a 9. Okay, it's another 9. Oh, Sujin first edition. Okay. Metal Raiders. Very nice. I don't think this would get an upcharge if we got a 10. I think it's only like 400 bucks. I'm pretty sure the max was like 500, right? Something like that. Maybe it wasn't that much. I don't remember. Okay. Corners. I mean, Metal Raiders always has great condition cards. I mean, occasionally they're off center, but rarely. I mean, this is one of the best printed sets like of all time, I would say. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we get the 10? Okay, all right. First eight. I mean, it, it wouldn't be a PSA return without an eight. I'm probably missing something. Maybe there's a little bit of like a dent or like a corner or something. A dent wouldn't be like a six. So maybe it's like a slight indent. Not like, not like a dent, but like a little bit of an impression. Maybe there's a little bend up there or something. I really don't know why that got an eight. That card looks really good. Okay, you know, first eight, we can handle it. Just one out of 12 so far or 13. So not too bad. Okay, back to the Dark Magicians. Can we get one of these as a 10? That would be nice corners look nice i mean these all often are like that old school like not old school but they're a little bit like wavy on the back because they're the new ulties and sometimes they're like that hopefully they're not taking off for that because i mean that's just how they are uh oh my goodness look at that that's not getting a 10 if this is a 10 that's gonna be unfortunate because <laughs> there's a bottom corner there yeah there's a seven okay yeah we saw that 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 thing was a little bit jacked on the bottom that happens really easily with these newer ulties so they just like chip off super easily especially in these specific cards so not surprised on that one dark masters orc this would be a sick 10. This is a really, really cool card. It's super rare from Dark Crisis. We did pull this from the box. Being a 36 pack box, we had like, I think 10 foils. So there's a ton of the foils from that opening in here. Back looks pretty good. A little, little couple of dots on there, but let's see what we can get. We'll get a 10. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dark Master Zork, our fourth 10. So now we have three of those DCR foils got 10. So that's pretty sick. So hopefully the Exodia Necros, because we didn't get the Grawl, which would have been my second pick for getting a 10. This has got to be one of the Prismatic Guard cards. I'm just going to flip it over. Oh, what? I got a nine. Wait, why is this one a nine? Okay, I was expecting a 10 because these were, I think, really nice. Okay, a little bit of a print line right there. That could be part of it. Corners. They're really not perfect, to be honest. Okay, corners don't look that great. Okay, not the worst thing ever, but overall, we're doing okay. I'm not like ecstatic, but I'm not mad. We're, we've got some 10s. Next box, here we go. Let's cut this thing open. This one was the one that wasn't completely full. It didn't have as many cards this time. This might be the, like the end box, but I don't think they really put them in a specific order. So let's push these over a little bit because we got a lot of stacks there. There's our stack. Okay, next card. We have, okay, what appears to be pretty sick. Okay, pretty nice cards. All right. Okay, a lot of, bit of, a lot of junk on the back, but that's just on the back of the card. I'm um, not actually on the back. I mean, oh, Dark Legends. I sent in a few of these. I think I sent like three. These were all pretty nice from what I remember. Like I had like, I bought seven of them off TCG player. I sent in the nicest ones because there was only a couple at the time in PSA 10. So wait, what is on the back here? Why is this case so scuffed up? This case is destroyed. And by the way, this is not the card. All these scratches, that's just on the case, unfortunately. Let's see if we got a 10. It did get a 10. Okay, that's unfortunate that the case is really scratched up. Uh, if you guys see all that, like scratch, scratch, scratch. That's never fun to see on a brand new case. But this card was minty and it did get the 10. So let me see if I can kind of scrub some of this off. That definitely made it look a lot better. There's still, I mean, those scratches are not coming out. They're literally scratches. So there's a couple scratches. But this is a sick card. Dark Legends Super Rare. If you don't even know about the Dark Legends set, just look up my video on it. I've opened a bunch of Dark Legends before. It's a pretty random set that a lot of people don't know about. It's basically the retro pack for the USA. And uh, Blue Eyes is a Super Rare in there. And there's not a lot of graded copies of this. So pretty cool. We'll take that. That's actually a big hit. I'm super happy about that. Let's see what we can get next. I mean, I'm guessing we got more of those blue eyes. Let's see. Oh, here's the Necros, guys. Here it is. Let's check it out. Okay, centering straight on. Looks good. Centering looks good. Surface. Beautiful. By the way, okay, there's another scratch on the case. Oh, I hate to see that. Okay, here's my theory. If they're scratched up, maybe they got tens because they had to like recheck them or something like that. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I have all the Dark Crisis cards in PSA 10 that I want besides this and Graro. So... This would be really cool to add. I had a 9.5 for a while. I sold it. I had a 9. I think I sold that because I'm just really waiting for the 10. So if we can get the 10 here, it'd be insane. Corner looks pretty good. I mean, there's a slight bit of whitening there, but not much. Uh, same with that one. I mean, they're not completely perfect. That one looks good. And that one looks good. Service, I mean, this looks nice. I think this has a chance at a 10. I thought it had a chance at a 10 when we sent it in. This is the big card of this mission, I think. 
Yes, we finally got it. Exodian Necros, Gem Mint 10. And we pulled this almost a year ago at this point. Like, I would say a year and a half ago, because it knows January. So a little bit more than a year and a half ago. Here we go. This is our chance. Exodia Necros! We got it! Oh my goodness! Okay, we gotta put this in sleep. I'm getting a little sweaty because I got hyped. Wow, what a third ultra. The centering is pretty good. Yes, Exodia Necros. I'm so happy about this. This is the card, like if I could have picked one card from this submission to get a 10, it was this one. So extremely happy with that. Now I can basically close the door on Dark Crisis. Besides maybe a Grarl at some point, it's a cheap card, but I do want to get that one. I think it's pretty cool. That is unbelievable. Back to back 10s. Here's the third God card. Will it be a nine or a 10? Let's see. Oh wait, this isn't a God. Oh, this is the, the Collector Rare Monster Reborn got an eight? Japanese card getting an eight. That is that is interesting. Oh, whoa. I think that corner might have a bend in it. I can't tell. Maybe it's the lighting. Those corners are not that great. Oh, wow. That corner's not good either. Oh, that corner's awful. What happened to these corners? They must have been bad. I must have not checked them. Sometimes you can get blinded by the Japanese surface. It's like the best surfaces you've ever seen. Sometimes the corners aren't great. So maybe that's what it was. Beautiful card. Definitely going to have to crack that because I don't really crack cards, though. It's too much work. But if we ever do crack cards, I'll crack that one. All right. Still extremely happy with this, though. That Exodia Necross is beautiful. Oh, no. What is this? Well, this card's not getting a 10. Okay. Man, some of these corners were not good. I didn't check that. That corner's awful, too. What card is this? How did that get a nine? Oh, my goodness. Wait, is it a card? Wait, let me check that corner. Corner's a little frayed. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess this card was minty besides that. PSA 9 of the Cyber Dragon. Actually kind of sick. I'm probably going to keep this one because I really like the, the classic uh, Secret Rare 10 Cyber Dragon because I had two of these back in the day in my old deck. Kind of like my Regeki. Uh, corners did not look great, so that surface must be really nice to actually uh, get that 10. Maybe the graders had the same thing, but they're like, ooh, nice surface, and they kind of missed the corners. All right, next up, we've got ourselves. What is this? Okay, pretty corners, pretty corners. Nice, good to see that. Oh, maybe a little bit frayed, frayed going on there. A little bit, not too much. Okay, bottom corners are not fantastic. I'll see what it is. Ooh, Elemental Mist Destroy Audit. We also pulled this one. In this video, when I pulled this, I remember I uploaded the raw file. That's the only time I've ever done that. I accidentally meant to upload the edited file and uploaded the wrong file, and you guys were like, what is going on? Like... Why are you taking 20 seconds to start the video and stuff? This is the only time that happened. I remember specifically because we pulled this card. I was like in Alabama with Chelsea and yeah, and, and I was like, wait, what's going on? What's up with the comments? So I had to like stop the video, fix it. It was a nightmare, but I remember specifically this card from that. Let's see what we got. A seven. Okay. Yeah. I mean, those corners kind of look bad. I mean, look at that. That doesn't look good. I don't know about a seven though. We must have missed something big time. Maybe it's got a little indent there. Is that what that is? This was out of a pack though. Uh, centering is bad. So bad centering, bad corners, maybe a little bit of back stuff going on. Yeah. Okay. Ultis, they sometimes grade those a little bit weird. You know, if they have back indents and stuff, they might count as damage, which, you know, it's not really, but Oh, well, it's a seven, whatever. You know, that's another crackable one. Next up, we are taking a little bit too long on some of these, but I'm just really enjoying this video. Hope you guys enjoy the long PSA videos. We only get orders back from 16 months ago every 16 months. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta enjoy it while you got it. Okay, this was not with the other PSA, uh, the other PSA 10. I'm guessing that's because this one didn't get a PSA 10. What do you guys think? I remember them all being pretty similar though. So I'm guessing this one got a nine because of that, but yeah, they probably didn't want to put too many tens on the pop report, but uh, I'm not really seeing anything here. I don't really see what is wrong with this one, but you know, when you, it's in the slab, it's really impossible to tell, but a nine's not bad. We'll take it. Here's the other one. I'm guessing that this also got a nine. Centering is pretty good on that. Pretty good. Surface looks pretty good. Back surface looks pretty good. Okay. Corners look pretty good. These are like weirdly rounded though. They're like kind of strange. Okay. Oh, another 10. Okay. My theory was wrong. We got two 10s. All right. Okay. Sweet. Can we get, where are the ulti blue eyes? They got to be in here somewhere. All right. So far, uh, there's another blue. Wow. I did send four of these. Okay. Centering pretty. Let's just look. I'm in nine. Okay, two nines, two tens. Can't be mad about that. That's pretty good. Okay, back here. So that's got to be all those. Yeah, the surface looks different on this. This is a different card. Oh, what is this? Ian Gate Guardian from the Forbidden Legacy that we pulled. Centering is not very good. Wait, is it? Wait. Now that I'm looking at it again, maybe it is pretty good. Actually, it is pretty good. It was like weirdly deceiving. Okay, top to bottom is not great. So it goes up a little bit. I'm guessing nine on this. Yep, PSA nine. Okay, we'll take that. Ian, PSA nine Gate Guardian. Pretty sick. You don't see that very often. By the way, the Ian is... This uh, abbreviation right here, it only came out in Forbidden Legacy for Metal Raiders and also the Master Collector one. So that's where you could get those. Okay, what is this? This has to be other God card, right? Oh no, I forgot! This is the card I, I forgot. I've been waiting for this card for 16 months. This card, I can't wait to see what that got. Okay, 
This guy. Oh, what? I forgot about this too. We got the, uh, this is the ultimate rare. Wing Dragon of Raw whatever mode. I don't know what mode it is, but it got a nine, but that card is beautiful. The ultimate rares. Wait, I got to show you guys another card. I just posted this on Twitter, by the way. Check me out at Ruxin34 if you guys don't follow me there. I discovered this from a collection that I got from one of you guys. Oh my goodness, just check this card. It has nothing to do with the return, but you guys can appreciate how beautiful this card is. Let me know if you made it this far in the video. I mean, just look at this card. Let me know what you think about it. Does it look insane? Do we need some ultimate rares like this? I think we should get them and call them something else, like make them a different rarity, but I think they look amazing. All right, this is one of the cards I'm most excited for. This is a Lugia first appearance hologram card. I traded for this like literally over two, maybe it was three years ago, it was 2019. You guys might not have heard this story. So sit back, relax, it's kind of a long story but basically i bought a pharaoh servant booster box unlimited for 200 dollars in 2019 it was like the first old school booster box i had purchased the person sent me a first edition booster box so naturally i was like what do i do do i like message them send it back so i was like okay i can't i can't just like keep this because it was an 800 box at the time it's four times the value so sent the lady a message she said hey thanks for letting me know how about uh you send it back and i'll and i'll like basically give you an unlimited box for free and i was like wow that's a pretty awesome offer and then i was like wait I want this first edition box. I was like, hey, how about I pay you a little bit more and keep this box? And she let me pay $150 more. So I paid $350 for a fair servant first edition box. It was insane. It was awesome. I wanted to open it, but I was too chicken at the time. So I ended up trading it. I traded it for this and like, I think, $700 or $800 or something like that. This card is one of my favorite cards. It was so worth it. I love this card. It's really beautiful. Let me show you guys before we show the grade. It's like a ghost rare Lugia. It's a tops card. And as you guys can see, it's not in great condition. So it's probably going to get like a five. It's pretty valuable, like up in higher grades though. So hopefully we got like a six. That would be great. I don't know what we're going to get. A five. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. PSA five, first edition Lugia. I just wanted the card back. This card looks so good. Rhyme Style was looking for this one for a long time. So really, really good to get this one back. It is super beautiful. So worst grade we've gotten, but I mean, one of my favorite cards that I own and it's Pokemon. So I know, but uh, speaking of Pokemon, go follow uh, Twitch. We've been doing a lot of Pokemon challenge stuff over there. So let's keep going. I know I've, I've stalled for a while. Let's keep going. Genzo reprint. What do we know about reprints? This is probably a seven. Let's just look. A nine. Okay, that's pretty good. It feels like Genzo sometimes get, can get like decent grades on the reprints all right we'll take that pretty good uh we have a panther war yeah i'm pretty sure this was right out of a 10 i opened very nice uh centering okay it looks pretty good back looks pretty good did we get a 10 here we did get a 10 on the Panther Warrior for Joey Wheeler. Okay, we're, our 10s starting to stack up. How many 10s have we got? Three, six, eight tens. 10s. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll take them. Up next is a Hornet. Oh, I need this one. This is one of the few Metal Raiders. Ultras. Well, not few. I need five. I have five. This would be awesome if we got this because I really need this one for my collection of Metal Raiders Ultras. Let's see. Oh, a nine. We're going to have to keep searching for that one. Okay. A little bit OC, as you guys can see. So makes sense. I actually pulled that one in a singular Metal Raiders pack like two years ago. It was pretty awesome. It's so much fun revisiting all this stuff and like remembering the memories of the, the videos we did and stuff. Oh, Dark Flare Night. This was also from the box. We've had great luck with 10s out of this box. Let's just reveal it and see what we got. Nine. Okay. This would have been such a sick 10 though. Dark Flare Night. Really beautiful. It's a, a Flame Swords and Dark Magician fusion. I mean, that's a that's beautiful. Last card out of this. This has to be the God card, right? Oh, we get two obelisk. Okay, this one got a 10. So now I have one 10 obelisk, one nine. All right, that's looking good. We'll take that. On to the final box. I know it's a long video. Sorry, guys. All right, we've opened up the final box. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, once again, sorry for the long video, but these only come around every once in a while, these long return videos. And I'm just having way too much fun right now to not take a long time. So I hope you guys enjoy the 40 plus minute video this is gonna be probably. All right, we've got this many more cards to reveal. And then we've got to wait another two years for my 200 card bulk to return, which is gonna be insanely fun. I can't wait for that let's see what we got i mean we'll have other psa returns they just won't be this long uh what is this card oh here it is the first blue eyes okay how's the corner pretty good pretty good centering looks oh pretty good okay this is promising back corners here's the moment of truth oh a bunch of junk all over this uh, not perfect but not horrible okay that one's a good corner good corner oh this this thing has a chance guys this thing has a chance to get a 10 will this be it Oh, and it did. Let's go in ulti blue eyes. I know a lot of you guys will be messaging me about this. If you've messaged me, you can hit me up, but uh, hopefully we got more than one so we can all get one, hopefully. All right, next one. That was beautiful. That was nice. Did we ever get a Dark Magician 10? Will we go 0 for 3 so far? I think we have a couple more. Blue eyes white dragon. Okay, let's just reveal it. Let's go. Come on, back to back. Yes, let's go. Back to back ulti 10s. Is this another one? Okay, can we go 3 for 3? Ooh, a nine. Okay, that's still sick. That's still sick. We'll take it. All right, all right. Here's another one. Can we go three for four? I would take that, 750. Oh, let's go. 
75% baby. Three ulti blue eyes. Let's just, uh, let's just appreciate these. These are the only ultimate rare blue eyes white dragons in the TCG, by the way. Keep that in mind. Yeah, there's two ghost rares. There's only one ultimate rare. These did come out of like a, a product that like gave them like automatically, but it's still really cool. I have one more, I think, in here. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, this is Dark Legend, Cyber Harpy Lady. Pretty nice looking card. A little bit off center, I think. So maybe a nine. Wait, what? Okay, centering is not as bad as I thought. It's a little bit off, but it seems like they definitely, uh, they did 40-60 here. Let's see. Did it, did it get that 40-60? It's pretty close. Ooh, okay. We'll take it, though. I mean, Cyber Harpy Lady PSA 10. It was pretty clean, I think. I mean, we pulled all those cards, so it makes sense. What is this card? Ooh, Dark Magician. Will this one be a PSA 10? I'm interested to see what they upcharge, because we do have a lot of 10s here. Let's see. Two mid to mid eight. So we got a seven and eight and like a nine or two nines on those. And on the blue eyes, we're getting all tens, which I guess blue eyes is technically better based on price, but to get uh, PSA tens. Ooh, TP6. I actually already have a PSA 10 of this. I think I pulled this card. Centering's a little bit off. We used to open a lot of tournament packs because they were a little bit more accessible a couple of years ago. Let's see. Oh, another 10. So now I've got two TP, well, three. I have TP4 Royal Decree and two TP6 Royal Decree PSA 10s. That is sick. Okay. Man, we're starting to pull out some good stuff on this last one. Oh, Vorce Raider. This would be a nice one to get for my collection. Another one that I really remember from back in the day. Let's see what we got. Another 10. The 10s are piling in to end it. Let's go. So if you guys stuck around for like 30 minutes to like, like watch the end of this video, you're getting rewarded with the 10s. Oh, Another one that I pulled, Harpy Lady Sisters. This is a pretty big one. I think it's around $450 to $500 in a PSA 10. Oh, look, more scuffing on the back. Let's see. That is, by the way, on the case. Let's see. Another Metal Raiders 10. I actually don't own this card. I sold it the last time I got it. Maybe I'll hang on to this for my collection. I might actually do that. I eventually want to get all the supers in Metal Raiders. I've sold all the ones that I've had before, though, so I've got to consider that. Guilford, this was also really clean. I pulled this out of a 10. 2005 10s have those little plastic things that hold them in, so a little bit easier to get 10s on them. Let's see. Ooh, a 9. So we got one on the Panther Warrior. Nothing on Guilford the Lightning. Okay, not bad. All right, what do we got left? I don't remember anything else left. Oh, another Blue Eyes. Another blue eyes. Is this it? Will we go four for five? Oh, an eight. Okay. All right. There's the eight set. So we got an eight set of Dark Magician blue eyes. If anybody wants those, Whew, let's see what this is. I don't know what it is. Let's cover it up. Another. This is our last chance, I think. This is our last chance. Dark Magician. <laughs> the Dark Magician's just in bad shape for some reason. Okay. Another eight. No big deal. We got the blue eyes. We can't complain. Back. Okay. Nice. Dark Sage. Ooh, Dark Beginning 1, Dark Sage. This would be pretty cool. Wait, is there something going on with the label? It feels like the label is, like, falling out. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Centering looks pretty good. Dark Sage, Dark Sage. Whoa, the centering is awful on the back. But the back has pretty big leniency. Let's see. Nine. It could have had something to do with it. We pulled this one as well. Dark Sage is a really, really cool iconic card. Rocket Warrior. I think we submitted all of our 2005 promos. That's what it seems like. Uh, pretty nice. Let's see. Another nine. Okay. Another nine, okay. Uh, dark, ooh, this is a big one. Dark Magician Girl. Could this get a 10? This would be the one you actually want because this is pretty big money. Let's see. And it did. Oh my goodness. We're having a great return right now. I'm super happy about this. Oh my gosh. All the big cards, or like not all of them, but a lot of the big cards are hitting. Back service is nice. Let's see. Catapult Turtle. Okay, we can keep that Metal Raiders collection going. Let's go. Nine. Okay, just a nine. No big deal. And here we go. This is the final card. We kind of went through the end a little bit quicker because I don't want you guys to be here all day, even if you have enjoyed the, you know, the video. Let's see what it is. Xerion Universe. Can we end it with another 2005 promo? Let's go. Let's see what it got. Oh, let's go. That's a way to end it. So let's see how many tens we got overall. Three, six, nine, 15, 18. 18 PSA tens out of 50. Not a bad percentage there, almost 40%. Plus we hit some huge ones like Exodia Necros. I'm extremely happy with that bulk submission. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video down in the comments because I really love doing these old PSA videos that are like from forever ago. We're gonna have some of these, you know, whenever the bulk sub comes back, but just enjoy this one while it lasts because we got a while till the next one. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Anunta Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.